What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today, obviously we are on the ice. It has taken a while for that to get safe ice in my area. We had kind of like a really cold fall, so we thought we were gonna get early ice and all of a sudden it started out to be a really mild winter. Um, so we finally, finally got a deep freeze that we needed for the last couple weeks and it locked everything up. So almost everywhere is safe now, uh, which is awesome. Been dying to get out. Uh, I've got some new stuff to try out this year. Um, so yeah, we're out on the, on the ice. Let's get bump. I gotta pay attention here. Fish showing in the graph. Anyways, we are out on a pond today. And in the pond, there is northern pike, largemouth bass, crappie, sunfish, and carp. Uh, my brother actually caught like a seven pound carp the last couple weeks. So that would be awesome to catch one of those because that one gave him a pretty awesome fight. So I've got two lines set up here. I'll just show you what I'm working with on this one. Just got a, a white lipless crankbait just to call on the fish. And on my other line, I have a little jig and wrap. And if they come in and they're not crazy about this, I can kind of finesse them with the jig and wrap. So, got my Helix 7 set up. I'll show you how I use that in a little bit. But uh, yeah, this is my, my one-two punch that I got going on right here. Lipless crank, little finesse bait. So, let's hope we can call them in and get something. Because I've been itching, itching to catch a fish. So here's a little tip for you guys who like to film your fish catches, especially with GoPros. Um, the GoPro batteries aren't really that great. I mean, GoPros are small to begin with. Here's one, I'm filming on one right now. Um, they're very small, so the batteries inside are obviously gonna be pretty small. And when you go ice fishing and it's minus 10, minus 20, it really kills the life of the battery. Uh, in the summertime, you can probably get like an hour and a half pops out of a battery. Um, so you really only have three options. You, one, you buy a whole bunch of GoPro batteries. To buy the GoPro branded batteries, they're pretty pricey. You can get aftermarket ones on Amazon or wherever. Um, and you can get them a lot cheaper. They don't last quite as long, but they're a lot cheaper. Uh, or the second option is you don't turn your camera on until you have a fish on but then you kind of lose the hook set, the story before, you know, you're fumbling around, you already have a fish on, you gotta run over, press the record button. It's, it's not ideal. The third option, and the option that I found is the best, is to go to your, these Amazon sell these, everywhere sells them, just a power bank. This one's made by Pocket Juice, it's 12,000 milliamps. It'll run my GoPro all day. And it won't burn through this thing. like. I don't, I, don't, I don't even think it runs half of it. And I can run the GoPro all day. Just plugs into the side with the little USB. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a game changer. You're not fumbling, changing batteries. You know, you get a hook set on a fish and all of a sudden your battery dies. Okay, now what do you do? You know, you're not gonna get that fish on camera because you're not gonna stop fighting the fish to replace the battery and then start the GoPro again and then fight the fish. No, that, that fish catch is gone. This this is the most reliable way that I found. Attach this, you know, it's a little bit more to carry in your pocket, but like especially in the winter time, I always have a hoodie or something, some kind of jacket on, tuck it in your pocket. In the summertime, tuck it in the back pocket of your shorts or your pants. And uh, man, it's, you can record all day. You just have a good size memory card. You can get them like a 128 gig memory card. And depending on what resolution you're filming at, you can you can go a very long time. Um, but uh, there's a, that's just one little tip and trick I thought I'd share with you guys. Get a battery pack. I have, they're inexpensive. I think mine were just 15 or 16 dollars 
each. So I just got one per camera and it's worry-free. I know I'm gonna get the shot. It's gonna stay recording. The battery stays full all day. So go get one. Hopefully that helps you guys out. Fish on. No, no, he followed me right out. Still there. Still there. Come on, this is the one. This is the one. This is the one. Come on. There he is. Fish on. Wow. Oh, this is a mess. Please don't. Look at the size of this crappy. I wish that I had. <laughs> A tape measure. I'm such a rookie for not having one, but look at that slab. That is awesome. He followed it right up and then went right back down and I was sitting like a rookie on my phone because nothing was coming in. And then it's all wrapped around the, oh man, the transducer cable. That's awesome. Sweet. Oh, so glad I finally got one. Been sitting here for like two hours. That is a sweet fish. Let me get a quick picture with this and then let him go. Yes, baby. All right, we're gonna let this girl go. Thank you. Right back down on that lipless crank. Gotta untangle this mess. Yes, yes, finally. I wonder if this means that they're going to turn on or if I just got lucky. I don't know. I'm going to get this mess untangled and hopefully get another one. Yeah. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching that crappie. I, uh, I wish that more fish would have bit. I saw lots coming in on the sonar. Maybe not lots, but, you know, a decent amount. I figured I would have caught at least a couple more of those, but... It is what it is. We got a low pressure system that just came through. And just, you know, fish do funny things when it's like that. Uh, anyways, try that tip. Grab a power bank, try it with your GoPro. Low cost investment, but makes it worthwhile. You know, one thing they always say for filming is always have the camera on, always be filming. Because you always want to capture those moments. And if I didn't have this plugged in, I could have been changing a battery when that fish came in. Like, who knows? Who knows? Anyways, try that out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We will see you next time, hopefully getting out again uh, in the next week or so. Um, we'll see what I go for. Maybe some, maybe some walleye, maybe some perch, maybe some whitefish, maybe some lake trout. We'll see, we'll see. There's safe ice everywhere and the weather is looking like it's gonna stay cold, so. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will see you on the next one. Peace.